Hello guys, welcome to Mediki. This is the second part of functional anatomy of the heart and in this video we are going to be studying about the conducting system of the heart. Okay, so now let's talk about the conducting system of the heart. As we know, the primary pacemaker is the SA node. This is SA node which is called the primary pacemaker. The SA node is situated at the upper right corner of the right atrium near the opening of superior vena cava. It is about 1.5 cm long and 0.25 cm wide. It has mainly P cells and myofilaments. The speed of conduction of action potential is about 0 0.05 meter per second. Now there is one more bunch of nodal tissue called the AV node which is located near the atrioventricular septum. Now the AV node is 2.2 cm in length, 1 cm in width and 0.3 cm in thickness. The speed of conduction of the action potential in AV node is same as that of the SA node that is 0 0.05 meter per second. Now how does the action potential which is generated in the primary pacemaker reach the secondary or the AV node? It is through three bundles of fibers that is the anterior tract known as the tract of Bachmann, the middle tract known as the tract of Wenckebach and the posterior tract known as the tract of Thorel. The speed of conduction of this tract is about 1 meter per second. This AV node, as soon as it receives the action potentials from the SA node, does not pass it directly. It has a delay of about 0.1 second. I'll tell you why this delay is caused. Majority of the cells present in the AV node are very small and there are very few gap junctions. Due to these two properties, there is a slower conduction of action potentials and hence the delay. Now, after the action potentials reaches the AV node, where does it go? It is transmitted in the form of bundle of His. This one is the bundle of His. It is about 1 cm in length and the speed of conduction is 1 meter per second. Now the bundle of His divides into two branches that is the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch. The right bundle branch is usually thinner and longer. The left bundle branch is thicker and shorter. The right bundle branch supplies the right ventricle and the left bundle branch supplies the left ventricle. Now, the left bundle branch is again divided into anterior and posterior division. Anterior division supplies the anterior portion of left ventricle and the posterior division supplies the posterior lateral portion of left ventricle. Now, let's discuss about the terminal end of the bundle branches. These are called as Purkinje fibers. The Purkinje fibers, the cells in the Purkinje fibers are the largest cells in the heart. There is large number of gap junction, gap junctions. Because of the large diameter and the large number of gap junctions, the speed of conduction is very high, that is about 4 meter per second. That is about the conducting system of the heart. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe to my channel and support me. Thank you.